inside, get what we need. And this is this week's Closet Classic. have to understand something about waves because TV works on waves if we didn't have waves TV would not work so what we're going to do is a few experiments that will show you uh, a little bit about waves and the first thing that I'd like to do is get a volunteer oh not that many <laughs> um, okay we'll take the first one how about you? How would you like to fill that up for me? There's the funnel. Yep. And take your time. Why don't you hold the funnel for us so it won't tip? Just hang on to it. This thing leaks all over the floor. I'm not responsible. No, I'm not. This is all homemade stuff. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's good. Okay. Okay. Now watch watch what happens. We're gonna make a wave go right down the water tube. And the way we're gonna do it is gonna put all the water down one end. No, it didn't happen yet. Watch. Okay. Now, here, here's the question: Is the is the water moving up and down? Yeah. No. The the water's moving. The water is moving up and down. It's not moving down the pipe, and that's really important to know, because when we get to talking about TV, you'll understand that the wave. It's going down the wire. The wire's not moving. Now let me let me show you let me show you that the water's not moving down the pipe. I'm gonna put a little of this stuff in. A little coloring. Okay. Okay, now let's we're gonna mix it up a little. Just a little bit. Okay. We're mixing it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now look, we got white water down that end, yeah. right? And red water down this end. Now you watch and see what happens. The red water won't move down that end of the pipe. Whoa. See that? Cool. The wave's going up and down the water. Oh. And all the water's doing is moving up and down when the wave comes by. Well, if I shake it up, I can get it all mixed, but what I'm trying to show you is, is that the wave doesn't make the water move from that end to this end. The wave just makes the water move up and down. So the wave travels along the water. Now, you want to make
make a wave go down a piece of string? Yeah! Okay. That would be cool. Get my, my telephones. Uh, unhook me. Keep standing on it. Okay. You never know what you're going to find in the can. We're going to... Have we done this before? No. We're going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Here, the other furthest one away. Let's see how far we can go. And then we'll tell you what, how this works. You talk into it and the other person can... Here. You want to talk over it? You don't want to talk over it? Come on. Okay, come on. I think you know how it works, right? Yeah. Okay, put your ear up and stretch the string tight and talk. Hello. Now, take chance. Somebody else want to try it at that end? Why don't you give that to somebody at that end? You, you choose. Yeah, go on. Sure. I want to leave this here when I'm through. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Except it won't work around corners. You gotta keep it tight. Oh. Okay. Scout. Come on. Then we'll get somebody from back there. Go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. Hello. Okay. You can't you can't let the string touch anything. And you gotta take you can't both talk at once. You listen. You listen. And you listen. Um I'm doing something else in you. Okay, somebody in the back. Okay, come on. Okay, string can't touch anything. Yeah, got to keep it nice and tight. Okay, and turn around this way. Okay, now talk. Go ahead. Now you say something. Okay, we got some other things to show you. We got lots of other stuff. So how do you think? Well, how do you think this works? It works like an echo. It works down the radio. Okay, let me let me tell you what happens. Inside your throat, you've got vocal cords, and your vocal cords vibrate. And they vibrate the air coming out of your mouth. Yeah. And then that air goes into the can, and it shakes the bottom of the can. And when it shakes the bottom of the can, that goes down the string. And at the other end, the string shakes the bottom of the can, goes into your ear, and vibrates your eardrum. That's how this works. Yeah. Not the same way, but look at this. Here. You, you talk into that end. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta go in the we gotta go in the back. We don't have to stretch this tight. Here you go. So take chance. Okay. You talk to talk you talk to her. This is only one way. Put put that right up against your ear. And don't yell. Don't yell. Just hold it right here and talk. Okay. I'll leave that here too so you can play with it. Give, give it to someone else, let them try it.
that, how do you think that works? Oh. Okay, how do you think that works? Vibration. Yeah. Vocal cords send the air out of your mouth, gets into the pipe, and just like that, it bumps the air and the wave goes down the air tube and then comes out into your ear and shakes your eardrum. But the air doesn't move down the pipe. Just the wave goes down the pipe. The air doesn't move. If the air moved, you'd, you'd have a big breeze coming out the other end, and there's nothing coming out the other end. Uh, you know, there, there are waves coming from everywhere. We can feel waves. Anybody got an idea how we can feel a wave? Yeah, there's waves in the ocean, too. What do you think? How do you feel a wave? The wind. Yeah, that's right, the wind. How about um, when your car goes over a pothole? Oh, yeah. That's a wave. That's a shock wave because the, the wheel goes into the hole, sends a shock wave up through the frame of the car, up through the seat, right into your bottom, and you feel it. Mm -hmm. That's a shock wave. Um, you can feel heat waves from the sun. Sun sends heat waves down, and you stand in the sun, you feel warm. And you can hear waves, because a radio puts out sound waves, but those radios just push the air until the air gets into your ear. Yeah. We made radios. You made them? Yeah. Mr. Papadonis brought them over? Yeah. I saw him doing that. Okay, we did the water, and we did the string, and we did the plastic pipe. Now, what do you think about sound coming out of a loudspeaker? One of these things. Yeah. How do you think this works? How, how, do, how does a loudspeaker work? Yeah. How does a loudspeaker work? Oh, really? Yeah. Um, somebody talks into a speaker or you have music on. Yeah. And the loud, it, it goes through the loudspeaker and it vibrates and when it comes out it shows so you can hear it. Yeah. Okay. We'll make a loudspeaker work here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to have me. Hopefully. Why is that a... What do you think's happening? What do you think's happening right here? It's moving back and forth. But you can't see it because it's moving back and forth just a little bit. But we can make it move. So you can really see how a loudspeaker works. Okay. Now, you can't hear that. You can't hear that, right? Well, it's, you know, the sound gets deeper and deeper and lower and lower, and that's so low, that's so low that you can't hear it. But if I, tr if I trim it up and make it go faster and faster, listen to it now. You'll, you'll hear it, you'll hear it shortly. We're getting there. Now it's really going fast. I can see it. You being in here? It? 
Okay, we gotta go up a notch, yeah. Okay, now, if you want to you wanna see what that looks like, yeah. we've got something that will let you see this. A microscope. No, not a microscope. You've got a microphone. And the microphone is like your ear. It changes sound wave, uh, ear waves into electricity, and the mic is hooked up to this, which gives us a way to control... I love it. It listens to patterns. And, you know, I think I'm going to knock this off on the floor and make a mess, so let me get this out of the way. Ooh. Yep. You need help? Oh, I think we'll just pack it right down here. Look at this. Look at this. What are we look what are we looking at? Sound waves. Can you keep a whale? Now. Well, let me uh okay, no, I'll I'll do this. Um Brian. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, now, if, if, every, if everybody can be real quiet. I am. Watch this. Now, when you talk, you see what's happening? The mic, the, the mic is picking up my voice. Okay. So... You, so you can't you can't see this no. because the mic is picking up the voice. So just look at that for a minute. Going back and forth. And we're gonna turn it up further. <laughs> okay, everybody will get a turn. Hang on. Everybody will get a turn. Your, your, your vocal cords vibrate the air. The air can go down a pipe. You can hear, th you can hear that at the other end of a, of a tube or a tin can with two pieces of string. Or we can put the same waves into a loudspeaker, pick it up with a microphone, and take a look and see what that looks like. Now. If everybody is nice and quiet, I borrow this, and maybe we can see what this looks like. looks like and you could play a clarinet and see what a clarinet looks like or a saxophone and they all look different they're all very 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 different okay now you you folks know okay yeah everything's different everything looks different okay now that everybody knows about sound now let's talk about television 
Here's the fun part, right. Oh, Watch what's happening. Watch this. We've got a camera, and it's aimed. Well, it's aiming at the at the black. <laughs> That's as good as we can get. Now, this is like nothing's going into the camera. The waves, like the sound waves, get on the wire. The wires don't move, just like the water didn't move, just like the string didn't move, and just like the air in that hose didn't move. But the TV waves are going down this cable, and if you follow this cable, they go into the, into the monitor. And right here, I've got the cable broken, and I got a wire from that cable into this, so you can see what's going on down that cable. Now think of it this way, the camera is very much like the microphone. The microphone turns sound, turns sound into electricity. The camera turns light into electricity. So there's a very, very close similarity, they're very much alike. The loudspeaker turns the sound electric waves into something you can hear. The TV monitor that turns the television electric waves into something that you can see. So there's something very, very close to those two things. They're not that different. Now, I'm going to shine this into the front of the TV camera, and you'll see not only that flashlight on that monitor, but you'll see what it looks like as a wave. Watch this. What do you, th what do you think's happening? Shh, can't, can't hear him. Shh. The oscilloscope, yeah. 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 The light is just like your voice. Your voice goes into the microphone, makes the waves, comes out of the loudspeaker, and the light goes into the camera and makes waves, comes out on the TV monitor. So, the, so sound and television are very much alike. But now you can understand why, if you understand how waves can go down water pipes and waves can go down uh, string, you can understand now how waves can go down wires. It's just a little fancier and a little more complicated, but the same thing's happening. Now, how does TV work? Light. Yeah. 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 Right. Now, does, does anybody know how TV gets from California to Burlington? No. Do you know how? Wires and electricity. Some, some, some with wires and satellites. How? Electricity. Yeah, it's electricity. Yeah. What do you think? Cable poles. What? Cable poles. Yeah, goes through cable. All those. Let me, sh let me show how a TV picture gets from California to Burlington, okay? Because now you know all about waves. And this is why we talked about waves, so you'd understand this diagram. Over here we've got California, and we've got a TV studio. And we have a camera, 
We have somebody out here in front of the camera. And we have a light. Yeah. And the light's shining on that person. And now the light reflects off that person. He's like a mirror, not a very good mirror, but he reflects light. And it reflects into the lens. Just the way I put that flashlight in front of the camera. Now the camera will change the light into electricity. So coming out of this camera, we have this kind of stuff, just like you saw on, on that oscilloscope. From there, it goes into a place called a control room. And in the control room, they can take more cameras and the person in here can choose which camera he wants to look at. And then from here, it goes into what they call a transmitter site. And it gets from the studio to the transmitter site, which could be 50 miles away, usually through either cable, or it get, could get there through microwave. But somehow it gets from here to the transmitter. And now the transmitter, and this is still in California, has got an antenna, and it's looking up at a satellite. And up here, and that is around 32,000 miles up. That satellite, there's an antenna on the satellite, and it, we broadcast up there. But it's, it's waves, and coming out of here are waves, just like we saw, and coming up from the satellite are waves. They look a little different, but they're all waves. They're electric waves. The satellite up here has electronic equipment that sends the signal, again, more waves, down to another antenna. And that could be on the roof of a cable station. Or it could be on the roof of say, the telephone building in Boston. It doesn't really make any difference where this antenna is, because coming out of this building is a cable with, guess what? Waves. More, wa more waves, yeah. And eventually, this would get up to, let's say, you know the big hill in Woburn where the antennas are? Yep. Okay. And this will get up to Woburn. And then from Woburn, it comes out on a lot of cables. And one of these cables will come down into Burlington at some spot in the town. And then out of this point, you have a lot of those black coaxial cables running along telephone poles. And here's your house. And that wire comes in. That's your house, right. But all these cables, all the same stuff, it's all, it's all waves. And that's the way we get from California over to your house in Burlington. Now, get a million questions. If it's only a wave, where does Jay Leno come from on my screen? Well, Jay Leno, that's him. Yeah. He's sitting right there. So he's all just waves, huh? Jay Leno, once he gets into the camera, <laughs> is not Jay Leno anymore. <laughs> Jay Leno looks like that. Well, not like that. <laughs> Jay Leno looks like, oh, the camera shut off. That's what it looks like. That's what he looks like? Jay Leno looks like that. <laughs> once, once he gets into the wire, that's what Jay Leno looks like. <laughs>
But what your, what your TV does is take that complicated Jay Leno that doesn't really look like him anymore. And when it gets down here, the TV's a wonderful thing. It takes all that information and all that scrambled up waves and converts it back into this guy. And that's how that works. So, so what happens? <coughs> what happens now? You start off with a person in front of a TV camera. The light shines on him. If there was no light shining on him, the TV camera would see this. Nothing. Oh. Absolutely well, nothing. See your the only, the only reason I can see you sitting in front, sitting in front of me, is because the waves coming out of here come down and bump into your face and come right back into my eyes. Uh, and that's the only way I can see. Yeah. Um, but what if it's like pitch dark and you can't see anybody? Like if it's pitch, well, I'll make it pitch dark. Okay? Now what do you see? Nothing. Okay, what, what kind of waves do you have? Nothing. Nothing. You see black. Black, what's, what's black? Black is no light. That's what black is. Oh, I see a little tiny bit. Well, you might see a little tiny bit because this isn't perfect. But you don't, you don't see the same stuff you see when I take my hand off, do you? It's different. Okay. So this camera is this guy here. He's changing the light into electricity. The electricity is going over to the monitor. But what's missing between here and here is this and this are, are both in Burlington. And if this was in California and that was in Burlington, you've got to go through all this process, this whole thing. How long does that take? Does it go faster when you do it? It, it goes 186,000 miles a second. <gasps> Something, here's something for you to here's something for you to think about, okay? If, if we have WBZ in Boston, forget cable for a minute because before cable existed, we used to put an antenna on our roof, and we'd be sitting up here in a house with an antenna. You might see a few of these still around, and over here at WBZ or wherever, there's a big tower. And they're sending out waves. And the waves go in the antenna into your TV. Now, do you think all the waves don't go into the antenna? Some of them keep going, right? Yeah. They just go right by because everybody else has to use the same waves to see. Some of these waves go that way, out, out into space. Now, they're going 186,000 miles a second. How fast is that? Very. Very fast. Well, I was going. I was going to. Uh, you listen. I'm. I'm going to tell you something. These waves go on forever. They never stop. Wow. Now, what if you could get in a rocket ship and catch up with those? And what if you had a TV set on the rocket ship? W what do you think you'd see? You'd see WBZ, but you could catch up with those waves and see last year's television. The, o the ocean's a problem. See, the earth, the earth is round. And here's, here's Boston, or Burlington, and here's London. And TV waves go in straight lines. So if I send a, a TV picture to London, it's not going to get there. It just goes off, goodbye, forever. Heads for Mars. So what, the, so what the scientists did was they put a satellite up here. And the satellite is 32,000 miles above the Earth. And the satellite catches that wave and sends it back down to London.
Oh. And that's the way we see TV. What? That's why you can watch a event in London, in Boston. And you know, it goes 32,000 miles, 186,000 miles a second. But from here to here to here is far enough that actually there's a very small delay between here and here and here. Very small. Because sometimes if you're watching TV and the announcer in New York asks the announcer in London a question, there's maybe like a half a second before he answers. And that's not because he's thinking about it. That's because he doesn't hear, th this guy in London doesn't hear this guy for about a half a second. It takes about a half a second for that to go all that distance and through, go through the satellite. So it's not like he's, he's not too bright. He's, he doesn't hear the question right away. Yeah. How does the cable go out sometimes? Why does it go out? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, that's easy. There's a million reasons. Um, a branch falls off the tree like in some of the heavy snowstorms and breaks the wire. That can happen. Um, cable runs on electricity. If you, if you lose power in the town or if your street loses power, the cable could go out. Uh, lightning strikes the antenna at the cable station. It can blow out some of the fancy equipment and it quits. So there's a lot of reasons why sometimes you turn on the TV and all you see is snow. And you fix it. Well, the cable company fixes it. If, if there's a lightning strike and they blow out some equipment, they have to take that equipment out and put new, new equipment in. If the cable gets broken because a branch hits it, they send out the truck with the uh, bucket on the end of the arm and they go up and they run that cable and they put new cable in. Okay. Yeah. A million reasons why the cable breaks. What? Different channels. Oh, now we're getting complicated. <laughs> uh, let's see how I can explain that. I was going to ask that, but I thought, no, that's going to be very involved. It's, it's involved. Let me see how I can explain how we get different channels. Um, it's called selective hearing. Okay. Well, it works this way. No. I'm erasing the board so I can think about it for a minute. I know how. I know how to tell you how, how you get different channels. We got to get back to sound waves. You know, um, a bass drum has a very low, low sound, right? And a fife has got a very high sound. So, if the bass drum sound is here, and let's say a fife or a flute is up here, you got a whole bunch of musical instruments, right? That all Different, different pitches, middle C, C above middle C, C below middle C, all falls into this range. And what that called is the audio spectrum. Okay, yeah, it's the audio spectrum. And we have a light spectrum. And the light spectrum uh, goes from the, uh, well, let's see, from really deep, deep blue that you can hardly see up through the reds. So you could start here, like the bass drum, you could say blue, and you can go all the way up here to red, and then you go to infrared, and then you get into x-rays, and the whole spectrum of light, and all the colors fall between blue and red. So now we've got a radio spectrum, and we have like channel two here, and way up at the other end, we could have channel 24. 20, okay, Chan yeah. channel 24. Okay? And all, all the channels, all the 24 channels are in here. And what your TV can do is decide which channel it wants to look at, and all it has to do is say, I'm going to watch channel 5, and it'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it'll just look at that channel and it won't pay any attention to the other channels. Yay. So they're all caught between channel two and channel 24. Actually, it can be between channel two and channel 100, depending on the system. So in sound, we got 
At the low bass of a bass drum and the high of a fife. And in the colors, we have the low blue up through all the colors to red. And on TV, we got channel two to like channel 20 or 30 or 60. And all those channels can be broadcast at the same time. You know, here, here's this guy in California, and this equipment might be putting this program on, say, channel two. And there's another studio over here with all this stuff down here, and this equipment is putting that program up on channel nine. So all the channels come in here and go up via satellite and come back down again. And when they come back down, the equipment separates them out into separate channels again and puts them out on the cable next to each other. And then your TV picks out uh, what channel it wants to watch. What? Yes, sir. What happens if you don't have a channel on your TV? If you don't have a channel? Yeah, I, I don't get the channel 33 on our TV. Okay, what's on 33? I have that. Okay. That's probably because the cable company didn't put 33 uh, on the cable. I don't know. What's on 33, Sarah? Oh, it is Disney, but I think he's talking about the converter box and not paying for the pay service and how the converter box... Oh, okay. If that's the Disney Channel, then that's... See, there are some channels on cable that you have to pay for separately. And the Disney Channel, you have to call up the cable company and say, I want to pay special for that. I mean, that's, that's the part of the cable business where they make money and pay the rent and pay the light bill and do all that kind of stuff. Right. What else? Any, any any more questions? Everybody knows how TV works now. That's good. I guess we did what we came for. Yeah. What is the um? What is it supposed to be nighttime in the TV? How do they get it? How do they get it to be nighttime? Oh, when they're in, like when they're broadcasting a program. Yeah. Well, if the show is live from a studio, they really just turn the lights down dim. And sometimes if it's like uh, a, a program where they're outside, they really go out at night. And they do the videotaping at night, so it, it really looks like nighttime. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you have, if you, yeah, well, how do you put a tape in a VCR? How does a VCR go to the TV? Oh, okay. The VCR goes to the TV. Okay. Cable comes into your house, right? Yes. Okay. Without a VCR, it would go right into the con you know the converter box with all the numbers on the front oh, yeah. with the clicker. It would go into that, and then it would go into your TV. What happens is. If you want to put a VCR in, you disconnect the cable, and you run this cable into a VCR, and then you run it out of the VCR into the TV. And when that guy's shut off, it's just like it isn't there. It goes straight through. And when you turn it on, anything coming, coming out of here, if you put a tape in there, will be recorded. But the VCR sends it right through so you don't miss the program. So that's, that's the way the VCR is hooked up. It's between the, the channel box and the TV set. Why is some point that night the, the TV isn't on anymore? Like it goes oh, some channels go off, right? Yeah, because there's some hours in the day they have to fix the equipment. And if they kept the equipment going 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there'd be no time to do any repair work. Some, some TV stations never go off the air, right? Like CNN, they never go off. But the reason they don't, they can stay on all the time is because they've got spare equipment. And what they do is they switch to spare equipment, then they fix the stuff that's run during the day, then they switch that back on again.
done with a thing called editing, and it's all all done electrically. So you'll all see yourselves on BCAT. That'll be something. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you.